today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys me making brownies. I've never made them before, so I just thought I'm going to try to make some brownies, of course, with brownie mix, because I'm not making those from scratch. So first of all, I've already preheated, pre I've already preheated my oven to 350. That's the first step you want to do. And then I have my pan over there and I've already sprayed it with my pan. So that's basically so that the brownies don't stick to it so you're greasing it. I've done that. And then I have all my ingredients here. I have my mixing bowl, my whisk, my measuring cups, the brownie mix, my eggs, my vegetable oil, my water. Okay, you want all that there. So let's go ahead, let's get into me making brownies. Okay, so I got my bowl and I've got my brownie mix. So I'm gonna be making fudgy brownies. So you basically take out the box, keep the box because it shows you how to make the brownies. Let me grab some scissors real quick to cut open the batter. So on the steps it says to have your batter, um, to put your batter in first. I'm not sure the steps really matter, but I will do it in the order that it, the thing tells me to, because that probably gives me the best result. So you pour it, um, all of it into your mix, well, your bowl, my mix. Oh, that smells like heavenly. Na, 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 na. It smells like brownies. Brownies are heavenly <laughs> smelling. Um, okay. So you have it all in your bowl, and then the next ingredient is, hold on, hold on, um, add your eggs. So if you want to make cake-like brownies, you need three eggs. If you're gonna make fudgy brownies, you only need the two eggs. And I'm just making the fudgy brownies, so I only need two eggs. Now, a secret about making, she might know, may I not, is so basically, you know, you can crack the egg however you want. Cracking on the bowl makes it less of a good crack. Well, not good crack, but like less, you, you know. And, but cracking it on a flat surface makes your crack a little bit nicer. And then you put your egg in your um, mixing bowl, throw it in the sink, your egg, the shell, and try not to get any shell in your food because that's gross. That's just gross. and then you roll it on in and make sure you wash your hands after or else you might get salmonella poison. So I'm actually gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay, I've washed my hands and the next step it says is to add your water. So you need one fourth a cup of water. So let me just fill it up in the sink. I'm not sure what kind of water you need, but um, you, uh, I'm not sure like what temperature you need, so I think any temperature works. And then you just need one fourth a cup of water. You put that in your sink. Well, I don't know why, it's just water. And then you need one half a cup of your vegetable oil. So let me just pour it real quick. Move the mixing bowl so you guys can see it. Um, might want to be a little bit more careful with vegetable oil. Okay, so let's pour. I just hit the whisk, it's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Um, I just dropped the lid too. Okay, clearly I'm not made for making brownies. So fill this to the fill, uh, fill line at the top. The top's your fill line. And be really careful. Pour it on in like that. Screw on the lid, cause that would, this would be horrible to spill. There, rinse this. All right, now all I have to do is, well, you know, mix it. But I need to bring over my pan first. Put that on top of the oven because I need to put it immediately. It says, I don't think it has to be that immediate. And on top of blended, they said the average, like, good blend is about 50 strokes. Um, according to my blending skills, I probably need more. So. I'll go ahead and blend this until it's already good and blended. Okay guys, so I need to pour it into the pan because I just finished mixing. 
Okay, um, hmm. I might need a spatula. Let me grab a spatula. All off the list, except for the parts I want. Look, of course, of course. Because I don't know about you guys, but I love raw brownie dough. Bow, bow. <laughs> um, what is it? Batter, batter. That's it. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. Just put that over the sink. There we go. Not staying. Okay, let me pour it on on into the pan. Okay, so I think I got it pretty even. And you like bang it a little bit more. But I think that's pretty good. I think it's even everywhere. And now I'm gonna just go and put it in. And the thing says to put in for, I don't know, like 25 to 27 minutes. So I think I'm, that's where I'm gonna like put it in for like maybe like 26 or 25 minutes. Okay, so at this point you should really have your oven preheated. You should have done that at the beginning step. And then, um, that is hot. Put on your oven mitts and slide your brownies on in to your oven. And I like to put on this like little like heated pad right here. So when I take out the brownies, um, you can set them on there and then you let them cool and you cut them. That's basically it. Okay, now it's time to take them out because the thing beeped at me and I kind of got scared a little. So put on your oven mitts, which are actually kind of tricky and open it up, be careful, it's quite hot. And when you open it, grab it on the sides, put it on your little heat pad thingy, and put it on up. That was really hard and slammed it. And here are my brownies. Mm -hmm.